a very fine morning my dear students hope you all will be fine by the grace of god as you all know nowadays we are learning experiments in our previous lecture we have studied about science 1 experiment number 1 that is to identify the chloride bromide and iodide ions from the given salts today we will study about experiment number 2 of science 2 that is to study binary fission in amoeba and budding in hydra with the help of permanent slides in previous lecture of science 2 already you have studied about experiment number 1 of science 2 that is to study mitosis and meiosis so let us proceed with the experiment number 2 of science 2 children uh, before explaining the experiment i would like to show you video of um, uh, binary fusion in amoeba so that you can understand in better way i'll explain later because uh, if i'll explain that time you won't be able to concentrate on the video so let us have a look on video so children we are going to study this experiment in which we will see this is the parent amoeba you can see your daughter amoeba are there and uh, this is this occurs in the amoeba so first let us study about the amoeba i'll show you the aim This is experiment number two. Title of the experiment: To study binary fusion in amoeba and budding in hydra with the help of permanent slide. What requirement? That means what we need: compound microscope, permanent slides, which which is showing amoeba. and the next one we will study about budding in hydra children let us see in diagram here you can see parent amoeba is there and daughter amoeba are there so i'll explain about this then we will start proceed with the hydra children uh, as we all know that uh, two types of reproduction are there sexual and asexual in sexual reproduction mostly it occurs in the uh, human being and the animals but amoeba uh, the asexual reproduction occur so
children this is the science and technology practical number 2 what is the aim i'll show you this is the aim title of the experiment that is aim to study binary fission in amoeba and budding in hydra with the help of permanent slide now what what we need that is called the requirement of the experiment so what we need children compound microscope permanent slide of uh, binary fission in amoeba and later we will study about budding in hydra so children this is a diagram which is set up here this is parent amoeba and these are the daughter amoebae which are formed during the cell division already you have seen in the uh, slide uh, sorry in the video just now children now we'll see i will explain you about uh, reproduction two types of the reproduction are there sexual and asexual so uh, amoeba is reproducing asexually that is this type of reproduction is called binary fission binary fission is a type of asexual reproduction in which the fully grown parent cell splits into two halves and they are producing two new daughter cells at the time of this binary fission the amoeba withdraws pseudopodia now children what are pseudopodia that already i explained you when i taught in lower standard still i am telling you again pseudo mean false podia mean leg so when the false legs are formed they disappear whenever the locomotion is required that time these are formed and afterwards they just disappear that is why they are called as pseudopodia so the amoeba withdraw pseudopodia and become spherical in shape the nucleus in amoeba splits longitudinally and divide into two daughter nuclei these two daughter nuclei further moves toward opposite poles this is followed by elongation of the parent cell and a fissure appears in the middle fissure mean notch like so that appears in the middle of the cytoplasm which you have seen in the a division of cell same way here the first uh, here the first division is of cytoplasm that is called the uh, first division is of nucleus that is called karyokinesis and further the division of the cytoplasm is there that is called cytokinesis so uh, this a fissure is appearing in the middle of the cytoplasm between the two daughter nuclei which divide the cell into two equal halves thus two daughter amoebae are produced from a single parent one of them has the original contractile vacuole while the other develop into a new one so what is contractile vacuole uh, in this all the waste material get collected now the entire process of binary fission completes within half an hour so this way we have studied about amoeba now let us watch the video of hydra then i'll explain about the hydra
Let us watch the video, children. Then I'll explain you. Here you see carefully what what structure you can see here. See in the center, one mouth hole is there. This uh, mouth disc is there. In that uh, one hole is there. Then whatever uh, this hydra is waving, that is the that are tentacles. Here bud will arise. You see how the bud will arise. See. Again, a mouth is formed in the bud, and when it get fully matured, it will get detached, and in that also the tentacles will be formed. Children, now we'll see about this hydra. Here you can see the figure of hydra. Hydra is a simplest sedentary multicellular freshwater organism. Sedentary means at one place it get fixed. So it is not uh, moving every time. Now it is about one centimeter long. It has a tubular body. Tubular means a uh, little bit tube-like. In inside it is hollow. With the basal disc for the attachment, I told you already that it is attached with a stratum. Oral disc is there for the mouth. Already I have seen in the video. Hydra. Children, you can see now here for the hydra. Hydra is a simple. Sedentary multicellular freshwater organism. What is the meaning of sedentary? Sedentary means it is dwelling at one place. So, and multicellular already you know, it is nearly one centimeter long. It has a tubular body. With a basal disc for attachment, and as well it is having a oral disc for the mouth. Hydra has tentacles. Tentacles are meant for locomotion, as well as for defense activity. Then, uh, you can see in the video that how they are moving. Uh, that are the tentacles. Long structures. Hydra reproduces asexually by budding. At the time of asexual reproduction, the small bud appears on the body wall of the hydra as a bud. Then it elongate. Ultimately, it its mouth also get open at the interior end, which is followed by the development of the tentacles at the base of the oral region the newly developed hydra then detach from the parent body and further it get matured so children here you can see this is hydra here the bud is there again here how the bud is formed in hydra this Further, it get detached when it get matured. So this is all about this hydra budding in hydra. Now you can see here about this practical. What are the observation, children? In observation, we will see. This is the observation. First, we'll see about binary fission in amoeba. First point: at the beginning, parent cell of amoeba gets elongated. Second, nucleus get oval shape. Third, a notch is developed at the site of division, like you have seen in cell division. Then, two small daughter cells of amoeba are formed
Children, let us see budding in Hydra. A small outgrowth is seen on the body of Hydra. That is the first point. Second, it becomes multicellular due to enough growth. Third, this outgrowth detaches in the form of bud which is having mouth. Here the spelling of mouth is wrong so you have to correct it. And tentacles. What inference we will remove? In our conclusion, amoeba and hydra reproduce by asexual reproduction methods. So this is more important. Children, now here on page number 37, sub question are there that you have to solve. You have to write their answer. So here I stop my video and uh, this all you I think uh, you might have understood in better way. I tried my level best to make you understand children. Thank you.